Today, we venture into the ancient waterways of Mexico City, specifically Lake Xochimilco, home to an astonishing creature that pushes the boundaries of nature's miracles. Brace yourselves for the fascinating world of the axolotl. It was said that in Aztec mythology, the gods gathered around the fire to sacrifice themselves to give movement to the new sun. Xolotl, which is where the name Axolotl comes from, was the god of fire and lightning and refused to sacrifice himself. Therefore, infuriating his twin brother, Quetzalcoatl, who then wanted Xolotl to be captured and forcefully sacrificed. Xolotl then ran for his life and being a master of transformation, was said to have turned himself into many things until he finally took form of a salamander. When Quetzalcoatl found him, he spared Xolotl of his life, but cursed him to live in darkness as the Axolotl. Now let's dive deeper into the remarkable world of the Axolotl. Believed to have descended from a group of tiger salamanders, these captivating creatures can reach lengths up to 12 inches, although they typically measure around 9 inches. They come in a variety of colors, like vibrant pinks, golds, blacks, albinos, and many other array of wonderful colors. Axolotls have fascinating physical features. From birth, they are born with webbed feet, a dorsal fin that extends from the length of their body to the tip of their tail, and external gills. While most salamanders undergo metamorphosis, where they shed these features and develop lungs, allowing them to go from aquatic to land, Axolotls exhibit a phenomenon called neoteny, where they retain those features, never going through metamorphosis, and never venturing onto land. Though rare, some axolotls do go through metamorphosis, but they typically choose to remain in water. Recent studies have shown that the absence of iodine in their natural environment prevents axolotls' metamorphosis. Iodine is an essential element for the production of thyroxine, a hormone responsible for triggering metamorphosis in amphibians. Scientists made a discovery that by injecting iodine into axolotls, it would stimulate thyroxine production, giving it the amount needed to initiate the metamorphosis. Research has also revealed a direct connection between the thyroid gland and axolotl's metamorphosis. Feeding axolotl thyroid gland tissue resulted in signs of metamorphosis, emphasizing the gland's significance in their development. Additionally, another intriguing method involves exposing the axolotl to natural air, although this can greatly stress the axolotl and should never be done. Now let's explore how these extraordinary creatures navigate their aquatic environment. Axolotls possess unique ways of breathing underwater. They use a method called cutaneous respiration where they absorb oxygen directly through their skin from the water they inhabit. Their skin acts as a vital conduit facilitating the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide, enabling the diffusion of gases. But that's not all. The gills that they have on the side of their heads serve as a crucial purpose beyond just looks. These gills are equipped with feathery structures called gill filaments. As water flows over the gills, they flap their gills back, allowing oxygen to enter the blood vessels while releasing carbon dioxide into the water. By continuously opening and closing their mouths, axolotls ensure a steady flow of water over their gills guaranteeing that every organ and tissue receive the oxygen needed. And although axolotls possess underdeveloped lungs, their primary means of acquiring oxygen remains their gills and skin. In oxygen-deprived situations or during a brief period of out of water, they can surface and take a gulp of air into their lungs. Now let's turn our attention to their dietary preferences. Axolotls are carnivorous predators. They indulge in insect larvae, worms, snails, and other mollusks, tadpoles, and even small fish. Axolotls employ a suction method, effortlessly ingesting their food. During feeding, they may accidentally consume small pieces of gravel, which coincidentally aids their digestive process. 
Here's where things take a surprising turn. Occasionally, axolotls exhibit cannibalistic behavior, feeding on their own species, particularly when there is lack of food or resources. This behavior is more prevalent among younger axolotls still in their growth phase. Factors such as stress, age, size, and health can contribute to cannibalism. Now get ready to be amazed by the axolotl's incredible regenerative abilities. These creatures possess the power to regenerate portions of their heart, liver, kidney, lungs, and even their limbs. When a limb is severed, a remarkable process unfolds. Blood cells clot at the site and skin cells begin to divide and cover the exposed wound. Nearby cells migrate to the area, forming a cluster known as the blastema. The blastema then transforms into the necessary cell types required for regrowth and gradually expands outward, adhering to the appropriate limb structure. Ultimately, a new limb identical to its severed predecessor emerges. Scientists are studying this regenerative power in hopes to unlock valuable insights for human regenerative medicine. Unfortunately, the axolotl faces many threats that have pushed it to the brink of extinction. Habitat loss, water pollution, invasive species, and overexploitation have significantly impacted their population. However, there is hope. Conservation efforts, both in their native habitat and through captive breeding programs, are actively working to preserve and protect these incredible creatures. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for our next adventure as we uncover more bizarre wildlife around the globe. Remember to maintain your curiosity and continue exploring the world of the lesser known.